Hello football fans and welcome to Season 2 of the Iowa State Cyclone Football Program. Let's meet your roster for this year. We got Brandon Matthews, Cole Spencer, Larry Johnson, Jake Oliver, Stephen Russell, Jeremy Walker, and Tony Snyder, Ike Gerardi, Donnell White, Jim McNeil, Jarrett Wright, Lucas Edwards, Joe Myers, Darren Hansen, Alfred Mason, Travis Bellamy, Larry Gaither, Andy Irby, Sam Spurlock, Jeremy Mitchell, Colin Harris, John Anderson, Marcus Cunningham, Aaron Hollins, Greg Martin, Chris Kramer, Josh Johnson, John Morris, De'Aaron Jackson, Adam Berg, Blake Wilson, Curtis Roberts, Clayton Eaton, D. Edwards, Marcus Denow, Rob Hall, Sean Stanley, Joe Howell, David Schaefer, Michael Holland, Robert Nichols, Jeremiah Berry, Bryson Alston, Tim Scott, Crazy Coach, Caleb Thompson, Marcus Fagan, Sean Robinson, Thomas Booker, Tim Gray, Rodney Brown, Michael Ingram, Dark Lord, Romaine Tomanahoski, J.J. Davis, Lance Richardson, Anthony Childs, Sean Jordan, Dan Arnold, Corey Hernsberger, Michael Hammond, William Higgins, Kirk Madison, R.J. McKinney, Winnehom Rotunda, Marvin Walker, Marquise Douglas, Ricky Bonderas, Aaron Nixon, Doug Jackson, and that is your Cyclones for this year. Now let's take a look at their season schedule before we get into today's contest. Our first game is going to be against FCS West. And then we are on the road. Or no, we are at home against number 20 Iowa for the annual Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. And we are on the road at UNLV. And we have a bye week. Then we're on the road at number 19, West Virginia. Then at number 16, Texas Tech. Then at home against Houston. At home against number 10, TCU. Then on the road at Cincinnati. Then at home against Kansas State. Then at home against BYU. At Kansas. Then we are on another bye week. And then we finish the season at Wyoming. So last year, folks, we finished with a record of 11-2 and made it to the Insight Bowl. And we won the Insight Bowl trophy. As you can see, there it is right there. The champions for them in the Insight Bowl. Alright, let's go ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at your preseason polls as they sit. Number one is Alabama. Number two, Ohio State. Number three, Wisconsin. Number four, Stanford. Number five, Penn State. Number six, USC. 
Number 7, Washington. Number 8, Nebraska. Number 9, Oklahoma. Number 10, TCU. Number 11, Florida. Number 12, Texas. Number 13, Boise State. Number 14, Virginia Tech. Number 15, Georgia. Number 16, Texas Tech. Number 17, Georgia Tech. Number 18, Utah. Number 19, West Virginia. Number 20, Iowa. Number 21, North Carolina. Number 22, Arkansas. Number 23, LSU. Number 24, Texas A&M. And number 25, Clemson. So that will rank out your top 25. Let's see where Iowa State is at. We are at number 29 right now. Of course, we will not be in the top 25 at all since Clemson is the last one. All right, now let's get into our game, ladies and gentlemen. The FCS West Bulldogs are at Jack Trice Stadium to take on the Iowa State Cyclones to open up the Season 2 campaign for the Cyclones. Will the Cyclones have another repeat season and go to another bowl game? We're about to tune in and find out. And here we go. Football season is underway. State wins the toss and will elect to recede to start today's contest. And here we go, folks. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And the season is officially underway. Mitchell gets the toss. And a gain of two on the play. From their own 30 yard line, it's second down. Mitchell, big game, big hole. What a run. Down. 
interception. Pitch out. Got the corner. Gain of one on the play on that speed option play from Mitchell and Gaither. Second down and nine to go. They line up in the jumbo set. Mitchell Hole. And a run of nine for a first down for the Cyclones. Cunningham with a ball. And what a gain of play on that. From the 29 yard line, first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gaither back to pass for his first attempt this year. Set to go in the air. And it's caught by Snyder. Very solid game from the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. They line up in the jumbo set. Mitchell has hole, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and goal for the Cyclones. Sweep to Hanson. And he's going nowhere. If these defenders continue to split the old line like that, it's going to be a long day for this fight. Second down, goal to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gaither, back to throw. Nice pass from Gaither to Mitchell for about a good eight yard gain to make a third and goal from the two. Here's play number 10 on the drive. It's third down. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. The pitch out and touchdown Cyclones. is good.
and he's sacked. And 11 now for the Bulldogs. Third and 11 here, ball on the 19. And he is hit as he threw. Fourth down. And now the Bulldogs are going to punt the ball away. Slide a bounce. Fell down this one at the 32. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. They'll go to work. Here we go. First and ten from the 32. Mitchell, big hole. Hit as he threw, incomplete pass. It is now second and ten. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 46 yard line, second down. Loss of two on the play to make it third and 12. You just need to execute better next time. Empty backfield. Gaither in the gun. And it's caught by Hanson. And he goes. Touchdown, Cyclones. PAT is good. Ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. From 
their own 43-yard line. First down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Scott out of bounds. Six-yard pickup. It's some good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver, recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back. And that'll be it for the first quarter. The money for a nice game. We play one. The score here at Jack Trice Stadium is the Cyclones 14, the Bulldogs nothing. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackled for a loss of one on the play. The Bulldogs are threatening. They're in the case IH red zone. First and ten. Fumble Brewski and the Cyclones pick it up. Mitchell, big hole, and he's gone. The 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. Mitchells might probably be wearing that oxygen tank mask or getting some Gatorade after that huge run for a touchdown. Excellent kick. He makes it to the 
15 yard line. So football really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. This offense can move the ball up and down this field. They just have to avoid mistakes. Gain of three on the play, second and seven. Third and inches now for the from the quarterback keeper. Incomplete, fourth down and inches. And they're going to punt the football away. Fair catch single. Mitchell, gain of nine. He just throws it away. Pressure is too much. That'll be an intentional grounding. Sometimes intentional grounding is not easily called, but in this case, that flag came out pretty fast. Third and eleven now. And it's caught by Snyder for a cyclone first down. That's Gaither's first mistake of the year. Here. And he's finally taken down at the nine. 
Timeout, FCS West. Incomplete pass, second and goal. Timeout, FCS West. Yeah, 50 seconds to go until halftime. And he is sacked. And they're going to go for the field goal attempt. And they're going to wind it down until like two seconds left on the play on the play clock. Kick is up, and it is good. And that is it for the first half. We still have about half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, the Cyclones, 21, the Bulldogs, 3. All right, and Iowa State kicks off to start the second half. Accepted by Oliver. Spin move by Mitchell to make a nine yard gain. Gather to Hansen caught for a first down and ten. Gaither looks like he's back to pass. Throws it. Touchdown, Cyclones! Mm -hmm. 
kick is good. Incomplete pass. Second and ten for the Bulldogs. Quarterbacks drop back to pass. Throws it. Caught. Complete. First down and ten now for the Bulldogs. Gain of three on the play, second and seven. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. And he is set down for the loss, third and nine. Complete pass tipped away, second and ten. Gain of two on the play, third and eight. And touchdown, Bulldogs. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. PAT is good. First and ten now for the Cyclones. They'll go to work at the 26. We've got a first and ten. Mitchell 
Second and five here. Third and five now after that incomplete pass. Third and five. Ball on their own thirty one. Gather to Irby for a cyclone. First down. Incomplete pass now, third and eight. Incomplete pass. And now I will say for the first time today, we'll have to punt the football away. They have a tough time connecting on plays like this. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. That's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Toss left side. Runs it left for a decent game. Good six yards there by the handback on the toss one. Making second and four. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Here's the give. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He was never able to get ahead of the team on that carry. Third and five situation. Ball to 25. First and ten now for the Bulldogs. And that will do it for the third quarter. Seven now for the Bulldogs.
and he is sacked. And caught. And he's out of bounds. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Incomplete. What I will say we'll need to do is score and put this game away. And he is sacked. Second and ten. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Short over the middle. He's at the end of the play. What a throw for a big game. And it's a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole third and inches. And that is it. Fourth down and one. They're going to go for it, it looks like. Toss play, first down. Second down, 
10 to go. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Moving back five yards. Second down at five. From the 14 yard line, second down. He drops back. Goes to the end zone. Oh, Incomplete. Third and five. Incomplete fourth down. They're going to go for it here. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Turn over on down. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they show they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. Here's the give. Nice run to the outside. Time out, FCS. From their own 19 yard line. Second down. Timeout, FCS West. Cunningham with a big run does supposed to put this game out of reach with the Cyclone touchdown. Sixty-six yards. Kick is good. After today's game, we'll take a look at your conference standings and the top 25 poll. Intercepted by Mason. Gaither drops back to 
Giants. Gaither wanted him to go deep on the play. He did. Connect to a Snyder for that touchdown. Nineteen seconds do remain, though, in the game. But this ball game, folks, is way out of reach. IOC is going to start the season with a 1-0 record. Fifteen seconds now remain. We'll see what FCS West does with 15 seconds left on the clock. That will be it, folks. They will not get another snap off. And that is the ball game. And that should do it. Our final tally of this one. The Cyclones, 42. The Bulldogs, 16. Folks, what a win that was. A great way to start the season. events to our next week. Face off now against the number 21. Face off against the number 21 Iowa Hawkeyes in our next episode. Let's take a look at the conference standings. All right, and as follows we have Iowa State at 1 0, Kansas State 
0-1, Cincinnati 0-1, BYU 0-1, Kansas, West Virginia have not played a football game yet, the Big 12 South, Houston at 1-0, TCU at 1-0, Oklahoma State, UCF, Texas Tech have not played, but Baylor is at 0-1. Let's take a look at your conference standings, I mean the top 25 poll. We got Alabama at 1, Ohio State at 2, Wisconsin at 3, Stanford at 4, Penn State at 5, Washington at 6, Nebraska at 7, Oklahoma at 8, TCU at 9, Florida at 10, Texas at 11, Boise State at 12, Virginia Tech at 13, Georgia at 14, Texas Tech at 15, USC drops to 16 after a loss, Georgia Tech at 17, Utah at 18, 19 is at Minnesota, 20 West Virginia, 21 Iowa, 22 North Carolina, 23 Arkansas, 24 LSU, and 25 Texas A&M. All right, that is it for today's episode. As the next game we play is for the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Trophy. And it will be being played in Ames, Iowa as the number 21 Hawkeyes visit the Cyclones. That is it for today's Cyclone Football. Signing off.